Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last video, we defeated more pirates that were out and about. We investigated the ship as well, read the log, that took way too long, and uh, we came back to Core City and sold a bunch of stuff after we tried going back to the camp and seeing if we got rewarded for defeating the pirates. But, well, we didn't. However, our defeating the pirates should have stopped the ambush from happening. So, let's go back to the Black Sea Expedition Camp. We'll get on our other armor, the bioresistance one, and now we'll head on over and investigate the Horticulture Center, something that we I wanted to do a long time ago. But you guys are bloodthirsty. Want us to defeat the pirates. And to be fair, I'm bloodthirsty too when it comes to Gabriel Angelo, so I don't mind don't mind that one bit. Oh crap, where is my armor? <laughs> uh here it is. Okay. So this armor goes on. Oh! Maybe we should test out the Lumerian spear while I remember actually we have it. 150 energy on that as well. What else have I done in off-screen? I made some MK3 EMP grenades to help us out with where we'll be going. Just as a, just as a heads up. And I think we're good. So... Okay, yeah, let's get going. We'll have to see how... How well I use this spear. It does 40 through 65 energy and 40 through 65 heat damage to the target. It's kind of like a weaker grenade. A weaker HE grenade. It's still useful, though. Sounds really useful. Oh, food. Uh, do I have I eaten food? I have not. Alright, let's go ahead and have something to nibble on. Get on our boat and head on down to the Horticulture Center. So, I hope everyone is doing well. I don't want to talk about the ongoing pandemic, which is... Well, I, I do. But I don't want to talk about it in this series. But I hope you all are doing well, and that no one you know has gotten uh, horribly ill or the like. Things are so far... So far, as of today, today being April 5th, 2020, uh, my family is still okay. Although, to be fair, here in America, we've... This has just started. So... We're, at, we're entering the parts of the of fighting this disease, which it can end up getting worse. Hopefully, it does not do so. Okay, so I want to go to the Horticulture Center. That's going to be there. So, uh, having beaten the Black Sea content, the expedition content, uh, once before, uh, I was working with the impression that the expedition content is timed. That is that you have a certain amount of in-game time to defeat, uh, to be defeat, to complete the main quests before you lose. Every attack that happens against the Black Sea camp will begin to, they'll begin to lose troops, they'll begin to lose supplies, and eventually, they will run out of these things, and then they'll have to pack up shop and leave. <coughs> I suspect I might actually be wrong. <coughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way. I might be wrong about that. In retrospect, having come to the Black Sea with a few characters of mine, I don't think timed is the proper way to phrase it. It could be. But I believe that instead of there being some sort of counter which is ticking for the length of time you are in the, the expedition content, I'm beginning to suspect that what actually happens is that the camp gets attacked when certain events occur. And after so many events have occurred, it's over. So you still need to focus, but you can take your time as long as you... It's so much that, like, next time we should be attacked should be when we're done with this horticulture center area, I think. Okay, everyone, so let's show you what hives are like. This will be our first hive together. Let's, uh, 
Let's do this. Okay. Every... So, originally, the way this worked is that, like, uh, the next turn, and, like, almost every turn, this hive would dump out two to three more locusts. I think they've altered hives since we last saw them with Garrett, so that now they release them every other turn. You can see how full the hive is by the number of lights shining in it. This hive over here, for example, is completely lit up. This hive is a little less lit up because some locusts have come out to defend the hive. It's in our best interest to try to destroy the hive first, if we can. Let's go ahead and sprint. We will take a iron gut, throw a grenade. Try to destroy the hive before it gets another group of locusts out. Oh, and it's still output locusts. Alright then. Oh, occasionally when you're attacked by a locust, it will afflict you with this parasitic infection. Uh, that does a little bit of bio damage over time. Tough to hit these things, actually. The locusts look a little different for, to me for some reason. They look like they got a graphical upgrade. It might just be me misremembering what they look like. So, in a, after this effect expires, we will uh, spawn a locust from our body. Basically, there's a locust inside of us chewing its way out. Disgusting. I love it. As someone who was a Tyranid player, I love everything insect. Uh, about uh, aliens or the, or the like. I love the idea of, of these locusts. And I also really like just the hives in general, the whole idea behind them, that there are these spawning things, spit out tons of locusts, you have to go try to defeat them. It's wonderful. I love this as an idea for an enemy. And one second, we're about to get a little locust. Oh, or not. Okay. Um, so getting past those locusts is going to be tough. Oh, notice that the this hive's lights are completely gone. All of the locusts are out and about. So let's stay down here for a little bit. They might go back into the hive if they don't notice us. Oh, maybe I should try actually using this to help us deal with the locusts. Okay. I suppose I charged it once, so we should definitely try using the, the spear a little bit. We can, I mean, we can use a spear in combat also. Nothing stops us from doing so. It's just that uh, it's too less action points than a sledgehammer and does significantly less damage. Does it have armor piercing on it? It was 25% of the target's mechanical resistance. Yeah, our sledgehammer still does massively more damage. We can see that here, I think. Let's look. So we do 151 through 238 with a... It's our crit. 11% chance to crit with our sledgehammer. 71 through 127 with a 6% chance to crit with this. And it does less crit. The only reason why I would hold on to this is for its range attack. And, notice the lights are back. Look at them go. And there we go. So we don't have to worry about that hive at the moment. So, if you kill the locusts, but not the hive, eventually, the hive will be refilled with locusts and populate the area again. If you destroy a hive, it never comes back. So I will try to destroy all the hives I encounter. If only because I don't want to have to deal with the amount of locusts we're going to end up fighting. Alright, so let's try this hive. I really should eat, uh, have some iron gut first. 
Actually, with just four of them, or four, we, oh, they're pinning me. That's interesting. We'll destroy this next turn. Oh, or maybe we won't. I should have used my, uh, whatchamacallit. I must have crit last time and didn't realize it. Uh, I can't attack again. Oh, they're all out! Oh, rushing the hive is useless then. How about that? So rushing the hive is useless. Because when we destroyed the hive, it spawned all of them anyway. Wow. Something odd is happening there. That sh totally should have just killed all of them. be okay. We shouldn't need an iron gut against just the, these few locusts. Ah, he can still weaken from there. Okay. He didn't really want to charge up, but we're gonna have to. Oh! We spawned a little one. Spear. Oh, uh oh. We don't want those to see us or we'll be in combat with them. No! Gabriel. Oh, and of course I. I. Of course I fucking missed that one. Of course I would. As long as those other ones don't see us, we'll be okay. Stay here, we'll use some of our normal health hypos to heal us. I guess we can eat some marsh honey. Uh, marsh honey illuminate, illuminates us, gives us more perception, and we generate some hit points, which will counteract some of these. I'm actually surprised how much damage we take from this stuff. Ten bio damage per turn. Each of them, too. I guess it was the iron gut that greatly reduced it. I didn't realize that it would affect the tooltip on the infection. Okay, and now we're not infected any longer. Wow, just those two. Just be hit twice. Help lower our hit points all the way to half. Forever if I just use a lot of numbers. Is there a bandage? Have another push honey. Sorry, not talking as much as I, as I should. Yeah, I love these things. I love them. I know lots of people really dislike the creatures in Expedition. I don't know why. I think they're all really well done. They're very different from everything that you fought in the Nor- Well, not, not everything, but they offer quite- There's- Many of the creatures here, if not most of them, or all of them, uh, most of them probably is more accurate, they, they feel different than the normal things you fight, and I, I really like that. And they require slightly different tactics to defeat them. I think it's amazing what they've done with the creatures for, in this. 
This locust had a malfunctioning backside, flickering locust abdomen. Oh, so they've got they work like fireflies. Glowy larva. It must have eaten too much marsh honey. So we want to go this way. Can we? Okay. So the reason I killed this hive is because I want to reach this hive because I want to be able to approach this without having ent without entering combat and getting plinked. Buy these things. So let's have an iron gut and charge. doing so. And of course I didn't use my spear. Why should I, why should I use that? I'm just gonna stab you. Oh, even that uses what you would call it, spear guard? Oh, a chance to block if we use the spear. counter some of the damage we're taking. All right, Gabriel, well done. Those are those hives done. Let's see where that takes us. Another hive. Ooh, two hives. So hives, when you activate one hive, the other hives tend to also activate and release their locusts. Um, so we're probably going to get a lot of them here. It's a special ability. It's a special ability. Let's put you here. All right, so let's do this then. Oh, yes. Locusts come in two versions. Normal land versions, and then these ones. Uh, water locusts. Exit combat. Um, I, I thought. I, uh, sorry, we didn't leave combat. I didn't think we would. Okay, so let's move up here and try to kill. Locusts. We don't have any electricity left. Let's try shooting this and see what this is like. Oh, it's a single target. It's not AOE. Our chance of hit is also really low. Okay, so we don't we don't want to use this. I guess we can try it once just to, just to show you guys what it's like. So let's do that. All right, and that will be the last I ever I ever do with that. <laughs> it is really tiny. Uh, probably I. What, what do you think it requires? Like guns? <laughs> probably something like that. Oh my god.
Okay, there you are. I guess we should kill it. Since, it's, uh, since there's no other locust coming out of that hive. They must have lowered the amount they can fight as well. Damage. I'm so glad we have our current armor. I think we'll live through this. You know what? We're gonna manage anyway. We're taking a lot. Oh, right! Our banshee is almost nothing because of all the some of the it reduces the healing that we we gain. We had to, yeah, we had to, yeah, I should have let most of it happen. How about that? Oh, yeah, look at that. Our Marsh Honey isn't even healing us. We're getting zero healed each turn. So we really need to... Okay, so... Hmm. This wasn't so much of a problem with Gary, if I recall correctly. I snuck past most of these things then. say there was a there's a secret here somewhere but I don't see it maybe my perception is just not high enough oh if we go any further let's talk about the spear well the sell it it's worth like 20,000 15,000 char uh well, charons but it's worth a bit this is it that leads us into the Horticulture Center, which is where I think we want to be. I think we'll explore this one area. I think there's one more hive in here. There it is. Uh, let's see. Heal again. Just one hive doesn't need iron guts to. Now, I entered combat first by hitting enter, just as they spawn, so I'm going to get to go... Oh, I forgot to recharge my hammer. That should be okay. Sprint. Wow, even a super slam wasn't enough to kill it. No, just just enter combat. Just enter combat and then go kill the destroy the hive. Charge of weaponry. Could be using my shield as well. I just I haven't felt like we really needed it. Ten bombing agents. Ah, oh, just. rest of the upstairs later. I don't believe there's anything else up there except for additional hives. 11 pounds for all that marshmallow. You better keep eating it. Slowly heal over time with it. Was an hour here. She brought some mechanical repair kits. I have two hot rods? 
hot rod wire gets not to if I need the hold on one. Alright, let's uh let's head on in. There are other ways you can enter the horticulture center as well, but since we're here. Oh! Right, this doesn't actually bring me to the horticulture center. Oh sorry, it does. It, it that's all it does. It brings me to the main entrance. That that is a serpent. That's gonna be our first serpent, and it's gonna be tricky. Because I don't know how we can kill it. Well, actually, I know how we can kill it. It's gonna be with grenades, but it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna take at least two grenades to kill the Heartbreaker. We can't interact with the. the panel. Let's use our shield. Heartbreaker poison is no joke. Oh, hey, nice. One single hit did it. Let's get out of here and wait a few minutes because I need to. I need to wait until all the locusts go away. I don't want to get spat at by all of them. So, I never made the leather armor from Heartbreaker Corpses with Garrett. Um, their, I believe their armor increases your dodge chance, uh, and also is, lets you take reduced either bio or poison damage, but I also think that it increases the chance that you'll be hit with range weaponry. I'm still gonna wait a little bit. I'll want to make as many of these when I get back. I guess I should swap. He's still bouncing around looking for me. Oh! Didn't, didn't want to do that. I'm kind of surprised the locusts are so hostile. And they're not hostile to the, the serpents either, nor are the serpents to them. Hmm. I guess the serpents just don't like the taste of them, and maybe the serpents are poisonous to locusts and thus they die. I'm just waiting for the lights to go back on. In that hive. Maybe should leave that open. Maybe you won't have to worry about it. No, I have to worry about it. <laughs> I don't want to get. We we can't interact with the elevator panel if we're in combat. There we go. Okay. If we have strength, I think we can just yeah we can destroy the debris, we're, or we can jump over with agility five. We can do either of these things. We could destroy this hive, but I don't think we need to. I can't reach the corpse unless I'm on my uh, my jet bike. I think there's another hive over here somewhere, too, but we don't need to go that way. Welcome to Crimson Meadow Horticulture Center, P. Bridges. Uh, let's go to level one, inner cultivation area. Camera, you see me, I see you. Before we go any further, let's see if any of these other things work. Storage block one, but two. Submarine dock, Ut utility maintenance. How about the algae cultivation area? Nope, nothing. I have to find a different way down. Oh, holy crap, ventilation shafts. I forgot all about these. We'll need to be able to break through them. Better days. No one's 
probably been in here in a long, long time. Hives. Many hives. Let's just let them stay there. Nature has taken over. Some sort of strange reeds are growing here. Glitter shrooms, hello. Take some of you. Nursery one. Surveillance monitors dead scientists. Bullets on the counter. A decent pistol. Console is out of order. Lots of hives around. We should have at least seen everything we can see. Yeah. So anyway, we can see. We should have. Uh, we looked at all the camera monitors, so that's revealed some pieces on the map. Um. Hmm. This was this one we're gonna have to deal with. These ones we might be able to avoid. Oh, but there is a dead scientist there I might want to search, but that means I have to defeat all the locusts that those two hives uh, release. Oh! Disgusting. Welcome, Pete Bridges. Nursery 1 status. Temperature, 43.6 degrees. Sensor data, unavailable. Illumination, 24 one X average. These temperatures must be in Celsius, which I... Uh, so over here in America, we use uh, Fahrenheit. So I... What is that? It's 100-something. Over 100-something. Sorry. Pulled up my browser, and it immediately started playing the last YouTube videos I had up there. Don't want to hear myself talk. Alright, so let's see. So... What is it? 43.6 Celsius. 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it is hot in here. Nursery 2. I mean, not that. It's uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Probably extremely humid. Probably sweating like anything in our armor. Uh, humidity 52.7. Oh, I guess that's not that humid. Temperature 32.3. Actually, yeah, I don't know what that means. Nursery has 3. Illumination, fertilization, auto, fertilizer, mixture, canisters, and replacement, ventilation manual. Off for all nurseries. Can we turn it on? Cannot. Uh, maybe I can? Turn on the units? You do not have permission to perform this action. Is my hacking good enough? It is! Success for turning on all the ventilation units for nurseries 1, 2, and 3. Fertil fertilization system? Canisters are empty. Pesticide administration. Disabled. No, note. Automated pesticide administration disabled until further notice. All UHIX 400 pesticide canisters, active and passive, have been moved to cryo storage block one. Alright then. Oop, didn't hit enter in time, Tim. Okay, so we're gonna get at least these, and possibly the ones down in that hide as well, the fight. Um... I guess we'll just start with the grenade, so let's... Let's sprint here. Did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Let's use a... Iron Gut. Then move up. Oh, uh, no, sorry. It did. It did good damage. I thought we would get all the locusts. We did not. Oh, I forgot about that. Hives are immune to crits. Everyone. Hives are immune to crits.
We'll try killing this one and then we'll round the corner and drag them all up to us. Locusts are pretty quick, though, so expect most of them to get to at least round the corner successfully. Alright, so let's... Flashbang? I'm sorry, let's, uh... Sting Ball? Move up. Nice. That's what I was hoping for. still together. Like, we could probably get a decent grenade on all of them. Left. At least one's making some sounds. Okay. Let's get out of here quickly. Now we just have to wait for all of that to expire. Iron Guts about to end. Oh, more locusts. everywhere. Oh, Tim, if you weren't ready for this, uh, we're gonna have to heal. So let's big heal. I can't throw a grenade yet down there. Sprint is off a cooldown. Oh my god, there's more of them. Let's sting ball. to get right up next to them. Yeah, because we might be able to kill multiples of them with our uh, electric attack. Game. I want to attack the locust swarm, not the door. Really? Attack its leg. All right, there we go. Oh my God! I'm spawning so many little ones thanks to my infections. Holy crap! Disgusting. I love it. of the plus dex. Plus some strength. Should have brought some mechanical repair kits to take care of our armor. I didn't didn't remember. Wow, two bandages that were still not full life. Thank goodness we have our bio-resistance armor on us. Ooh, 
I'm recording, right? Yes, I am. Get lots of insectoid saliva from these things, which is wonderful. We could always use more of that. science facility. Oh, I think we knew that anyway, right? This is, the, this is the horticulture center. We should have expected to find similar things, including growing guards. Very important in science. You may not realize it, but your your gonads are in constant danger. As a, as a computer scientist, you always have to be worried about worried about that sort of thing. You never know when you might encounter a, a desk accident. Ac wow. Accident of the worst kind. Where's my spear? I don't care about you, spear, very much. You got some lingua, lingua. some green warts. Mm -hmm. That's some delicious stuff. Entangled console. The thick roots are preventing you from using the console. There has to be some way of removing them without damaging the console. Hmm. That dead scientist is tempting. Tempting. We'll leave it there at the moment, though. Actually, can we even, we might not even be able to open this lock. We can't. Hacking 100. I think we only have like 30. 45. So that is not enough. Let's try reaching the other places first before we go to block A. Can we reach the algae cultivation area from here? Nope. I knew already that we couldn't reach all of them. All right, let's go ahead and go to the storage block one. Bats! Another elevator. That one's out of service. And this is going to be a hermit crab, everyone. So let's just uh, let's get ready for that. Thank you, sir, for your eyeball. garbage on me? I, I don't really need all this marsh honey, do I? It's not, it doesn't heal very much. And it weigh, it's weighing a ton. Well, it's not weighing a ton, it's weighing 17 pounds. We'll just leave you here, marsh honey. You're not worth anything really to us. Oh, now that's interesting. I remember what's in here. Eighty, which we also don't have. All right, so looks like we're doing this the hard way. Can we make it up before we get hypothermia on us? Yes, we can. All right, let's wait for that those debuffs to go down. Well, I believe there is a dead technician over here who has a key card that we're going to need. They're going to be immune to the freezing cold, while I am not. Let's sprint and try to get out of here. We don't want to fight in the cold if we can avoid it.
pink tank you managed to hit. Oh, oh, oh! Alright, uh, that did not put out, that did not also do anything for my cold status. I thought for sure it would. I don't want to get multiple stacks of hypothermia, and I think at three or more stacks, you have a chance of being encased in ice. This, uh, then you can't, you, you miss your entire turn. I don't want, uh, it happens randomly. So, uh, I do not want to have to deal with the amount of strongmen that will be a attacking us. In that regard, uh, dur dur during such. I want to stay out of that frost. Wow, screw you. Are MK threes. Okay. Woo! Well done. Let's recharge. Uh, sure. Recharge our sword. I think you can get batteries from them on occasion. Malfunctioning empathy unit. You can only assume it's malfunctioning according to the observed behavior. Actually, it might be feeling really empathetic about the fact that we're attacking things. It's like, yeah, we, we can do that too. We can attack you. See? We're, we're doing something together that we both like doing. Go, go, go. Whatever it is, we're putting it in our pockets. Oh, a full M7 was in there. Oh, nothing. Oh, we got frozen while searching that one. And we got frozen again. So this is this is what I didn't want to see happen when we were fighting the whatchamacallits, so. That was wrong. There was nothing over there at all. Exciting. Very exciting. Okay. So, I don't think we got a key card at all from any of that. Oh, we did. I'm sorry. This looks like a that looked like a, that looked like a fold 7. That was not. So, we did get a key card. It wasn't on a body. Let's uh let's the last one of these. I guess we'll go ahead and just have some of that marsh honey after all. Okay, so we got a key card. I see I, I know what's in both of the, what's in these two locations as well. So to the north we're gonna have spiders and hermit crabs to the, I'm oh, sorry, to the west. To the north, we are gonna have quite a few giant crabs, like of the, of the giant variety. So uh, titanic crabs, psi uh, electrical crabs, and there's also some, uh, some bugs there too. Hmm. Well, before we come on with where we're going, I wanna wait till the hypothermia leaves us. I do not want to lose... How much life am I down? Oof. 300 points of life. Just about. Or more. I do like that this game adds things like that room we were just in. 
Uh, you need to pay attention to the area you're fighting in, in addition to the creatures that you're fighting. It reminds me of the Spirit Engine 2 uh, in that regard. There we go. Now we're back up to full life. So, why don't we go... Let's go this way first. Scientists with the Garden of Even Evan Creation Kit Manual. Guide to Dr. Evan's Ultimate Gardening Kit. Anyone can create more aesthetically pleasing living environment with a couple of glowing flowers and some vibrant mushrooms. A nice uh, nod to Fallout 2, if I recall correctly. Alright, everyone. Spider time. able to net them for longer than like one round. And the moment I get unnetted, this one's going to net us. So let's flashbang it. I still don't know what the honey stalks would have you can make. I need to see what poisons are being offered here. Uh, speaking of, by the way. Uh, oh, I should try to make some Twitch. When we go back home, I'll see uh, if we can make more drugs. I completely forgot about that. Those are full. We don't want to touch those. Very old cheese wheel. It's hardened so much, it can probably be used as a rail car wheel now. Pesticide gas grenades will need those. Some actual pesticide. That will let us make our own pesticide grenades. Actually, we may be able to make them here. Ooh, napalm seed. We definitely want all of that. than what we did get. Alright, so... These have to go on my hotbar. And can I make pesticide grenades? That'll be under gas grenades, if I recall correctly. So they do decent damage to the uh, locusts. Decent damage. Nothing. Uh, it, they're also gas grenades, which I don't think I've shown you with Gabriel. Uh, I'm not a big fan of gas grenades because I don't really know how to use them properly. They require some 
when you throw them, they, they don't act like normal grenades. In fact, uh, you'll see how they work, because uh, we're going to have to use one upstairs. But, uh, they take several turns for the gas to fully be deployed from the grenade itself. Oh, actually, I guess we can use one here. So what we do is we just pick a spot and throw the grenade. And then, over time, as you can see, it will slowly flood the area with gas. Now these, let, let's, why did I throw a pesticide grenade there? Let's show you. Pesticide, composed of a strong weed-killing herbicide and a highly potent insecticide. Does not leave any toxic residue matter. Do not ingest. Very important that you read the, uh, uh, well, at least sometimes that you read the lore that is on the items you're picking up. So the pesticide grenades will actually chew through the weeds that are here. wait for the gas to go away, which will take a bit. So I guess while we're waiting, what else do I want to do? I have nothing I can break down. Can I? No, I don't have any bottles. Yeah, it's nothing. I guess we can... Some, uh, is there a corpse around? Those on here. I don't actually need the, those canisters. I don't really need the heart. I don't need the graphite. Graphite's used mostly for dynamite. I don't think you can make grenades with it. Okay, the gas grenades have ended. Now we just have to wait for the gas. I guess we don't have to. You can take a little bit of poison damage or bio damage if you walk into it. Okay. Some more napalm seed, worth it. Ekibana, a beautiful arrangement of flowers and mushrooms. Some more pesticide gas. Okay, let's go and check out the last room here. And then we'll probably call the session everyone because we played for almost an hour. And we'll wrap up the horticulture center in the next video. That there's tons of crabs, so let, let, let's look back here again. There are oh, we can't actually see. Let's go out there then. There's quite a few crabs patrolling this area, and I think there's a, a few more buried under the ground. I'm, I believe the crabs and locusts will fight each other though, and there's locusts in a room we'll see right here. You can see there already the purple glow of the uh, hive. So I think might be able to use a computer console. Assuming our hacking is high enough, which it might not be. Nice. We actually needed that for our armor. Some can we don't care about. Miss Maiden Toy. A little handmade doll in a pink dress. It's well hidden, but it does come equipped with a functioning wrist blade. We haven't seen them, uh, we haven't fought those yet. We want most of what this is. Take this stuff and break down those machetes. Wow, for a huge amount of metal. Shape again. 
the bullets. Welcome, Pete Bridges. Please select one of the following options. Uh, toggle Cryovolt A1 Inner Gate. Error. Unable to open the gate remotely. Please try opening the gate manually or summoning a strongman in case of gate malfunction. Toggle the outer gate. Look at the info on that Cryovolt. Cryovolt 1A Outer Chamber Cooling Off. Chamber temperature, sensor data unavailable. Inner chamber cooling on. Uh, deactivate the inner chamber. You do not have permission to perform this action. A uh, hacking? Unknown error. No, we can't do it. Activate the side chamber cooling. You do not have permission to act hacking. No, we can't do it. Hacking's not strong enough. All right, so we can't. Use, so we can't get into this room. I wasn't able to get in here either with uh, Garrett. It also means we can't use the locust to help us with the crabs. So we're just gonna have to fight a bunch of crabs. Let's get some more food first. This stays with me for the fight. And let's do this, everyone. It's gonna be tough. Alright, so let's start by having a bullhead. And just charge the side crab. Alright, let's expose weakness. I want to move away so that we don't get hit by the other side crab. Hey, you know, it just occurred to me! These aren't crabs, these are like spiders! They don't move like crabs move. Crabs move from side to side. Like they they walk forward by walking sideways. They don't skitter forward with their with their claws. At least I don't believe they do. Wow. Good. <laughs> I would like to kill multiple of them with uh, with the electricity. Our bullhead has expired. That's a colossal crab. Hmm. We're gonna do it any. All right. Let's activate our shield and try to kill the colossal. Might not be able to though. Wow. Yes, we can. Good hit there. The energy gone. Let's recharge. Worth it. Come on. Target it. We're fatigued, but the battle is over. Well done. Let's just grab all the crab bits. So wasn't it? We did really well there. I got the beam board. I don't know what it's used in. So we want to get into that room and search those cabinets. I think for some for some reason. Actually, no. I don't think we do. I think the only thing in there is more pesticides. We'll search it anyway since we're here. Let's first recharge our weapons. Our 
sword's okay. Whatever it is, we'll put it in our pockets. Let's get out of here. And wait for the chill to go down. So we'll search this room for everyone, and that'll do it. So, and, um... We'll be back in the next episode to explore the rest of the Horticulture Center. I leave, by the way, before I get hypothermia, because hypothermia lasts two minutes, chills just last 20 seconds, so if I can get out of that room first before we get hypothermia, it's a very good thing. Alright, there was nothing in there. Okay, everyone, so that'll do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. When we come back, I will have pesticided away the weed blocking our access to the one computer terminal, and we will see what lies beyond that door. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching this one, and take care, everyone.